Panasonic has developed a unique technology that doubles the brightness of color photography by using micro color splitters instead of conventional color filters in the image sensor. These two photos were taken using CCDs with the same sensitivity. The one on the right was taken with the color filter system used in nearly all digital cameras, and the one on the left was taken with Panasonic's new micro color splitting system. Until now, image sensors have produced color pictures by using red, green, and blue filters for each pixel. But with that system, 50 to 70% of the light is lost. え、今回はカラーフィルターを用いないその結果として光の損失なく光を取り込むことができる。かつ、CCD とかCMOS または this photo shows a cross section of the new image sensor. The sensor uses two types of color splitters, red deflectors and blue deflectors. The red and blue deflectors are arranged diagonally with one of each for every four pixels. RGB values can be obtained by determining the intensity of light reaching each of the four pixels. For example, if white light enters each pixel, pixels where it doesn't pass through a deflector receive unmodified white light. But in pixels with a red deflector, the light is split into red diffracted light and cyan non-diffracted light. And when white light passes through a blue deflector, it's split into blue diffracted light and yellow non-diffracted light. As a result, the pixel arrangement is cyan, white plus red, white plus blue, and yellow. The RGB values are then calculated using a processing technique designed specifically for mixed color signals. To design the microcolor splitters in this way, it's necessary to analyze optical phenomena such as reflection, refraction, and diffraction in 3D. Analyzing various wavelengths of light for each form of microcolor splitter requires high-speed computation, which hasn't been practical until now. メモリの演算速度、メモリ消費量としてもわずか16分の1ということが分かっております。ま、こちらは ま、それこそその、この組み合わせの時には例えばあ、モバイルに使える用途になるとか、この組み合わせやったら監視カメラ使えるとそういうふうなあの方式と用途との組み合わせというのがそれで対応していますのでその辺の研究というものをこれから